Okay, three minute game here. Let's see how we get on. It's a very tame opening the opponent's putting through here. Oh, here we go. Um, this is absolute beginner. <laughs> so we're playing against an absolute beginner here unless of course the chair to be fancy with the bomb cloud but um i don't think so okay so just move through just develop as normal so we don't mind playing absolute beginners it's um it's always a test for us i'm gonna just attack the pawn here i'm not going to attack it with the bishop don't want to overextend and let's just uh, bring the bishop out develop the knight across so they've not developed any of the key pieces but I don't want to fall into any traps or anything like that so he's pushing down with a scud missile could could have taken with the knight because I've got queen support with my knight and the queen basically but just sitting waiting to see what they develop they're not developing much so it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward to actually just capture this but not going to be overconfident so they capture okay so definitely absolute beginner here so they're just trading down pieces now so we can capture here so we'd win the bishop if he does take as well so they're just giving up pieces now the mark of an absolute beginner but you have to start from somewhere so in essence giving up the pieces too much in the early part of the game really doesn't set you um a good example for developing in your game you've got to work your pieces together as best possible and single attacks really don't work as we've mentioned before in our previous absolute beginners um, tutorial so they're moving the king again so they're not developing any other pieces at all so if you are an absolute beginner key points to remember are king safety work your pieces together develop the pawn slowly but surely develop your minor pieces then your major pieces depending on the situation at least you want your team working together so this looks pretty simple straightforward now but we still have to find the right moves so a lot of times we don't get to play against absolute beginners and we potentially lose out on basic simple chess play because we've got too much too arty a, a fort in our process this is why i like to play the absolute beginners so they've given up the queen and we're directly opposite their king with our rook our knight's in place to block the king from moving backwards queen's in a nice position so it's just trading down now so we can just take with the queen looks more straightforward and then basically the game is kind of over really so they've brought the knight down so this pawn here can be taken then the queen can just go in front of the king there in front of the king by taking the knight so this is over in two moves i think quick shifty at the analysis and just develop pieces um, as we're doing we're developing we're not falling for any fancy bonk out thing of like trying to put pressure on the king in the early part of this game just developing our pieces as you can see through the center and just attacking this loose pawn and just grabbing nice and steadily so basically looking to work our pieces together as you can see our minor pieces are out and we're not overextending by grabbing that pawn just yet just making sure that we're fully set and now we can grab because we've got a two on one in this situation so the development is working your pieces together pressuring the king when you can but not rushing to do so and taking key pieces off the board to help elevate your position and then you can squish the king 